Well, today we are targeting some northern pike. Uh, we're gonna be running a tip-up system. How this works is we put some, we put a big minnow on it, and when the fish pulls, the flag goes up telling us that we have a fish. Um, this is just your standard, good old-fashioned beaver dam, Arctic fisherman tip-up. You know, they fold up, put away. But uh, right now we're in about 15 foot of water. This lake just froze over. The big part of it is still open. We're actually in a back little bay here. And uh, we're hoping that some pike are in here. And we got yeah, five inches of ice or so. We're using shiner minnows. We're gonna get these baited up, get the cameras down, hopefully get some pike eating these minnows and maybe we can catch a giant because there's supposed to be some big ones in here. So join us on this tip up fishing adventure and hope you guys learn something. So stick with us. And we're gonna run some different depths. That's kind of what you wanna do. You wanna put a couple that are right off bottom and then maybe put a couple that are really up high and a couple that are in the middle. In Wisconsin, we're allowed three lines per person. So that's exactly what we do. We kind of play around with the depth until we figure out which ones the fish really like. So we've got our depth set now and uh, I'm just gonna reach in here, grab one of these shiner minnows. All right, so this here is a shiner minnow and I like to hook them right behind the little dorsal fin on their back. So they're kind of hanging downwards. If you hang them about perfectly level, sometimes they'll just sit there and they won't even swim around. So we got our treble hook on there. We got a sinker on there. This is just a 30 pound fluorocarbon leader, nice and clear. And we're dropping it down to our little uh, button on the line. I'm gonna reel up all the rest of this. Well, there's our button that goes to the spool. And drop that tip up down. You see there's our depth marker. You'll notice when we're pulling in the flags, you'll see that depth marker. We know we're getting close to, you know, where we set it at. Then I got these little foam covers. I made these like 10 years ago, just out of some foam. Slap these on the spool. That keeps the hole from freezing over. This tip up is set and ready to go. Okay, camera number two on the sucker minnow going under the water. There's our tip up spool. And we do have the camera kind of tipped down just a little bit so we can see that minnow down there. Got a little bit of weeds down there. There's our minnow. And this one, I didn't put up high. I did drop this one a little lower. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Oh, that looks great. So hopefully a big old 40 inch or piker will come along and eat that sucker minnow. And then we'll, uh, we got three more tip ups to put out now. All right, well, Sydney just walked back to the truck to go grab some hand warmers and uh, had the first flag just pop. And it happens to be, we got to eat on camera. And here we go. Oh, line's going way over. Got him. We are hooked up with our first pike. He's a little guy, but that's what we're after. Not little ones like this, so we want to try to catch some some bigger ones. But we'll get him unhooked. Look at that, right in the... We should be able to pop that out real quick. All right, our first pike of the morning. Super tiny guy, but you got to start somewhere. Away he goes. Well, flag number two just popped up. Sydney's back. She's going to take this one, see what we got. It's up to you. I'd take it. I would take it. Come on. 
Good? Yeah, it feels decent. Feels decent, man. Yep. Nice. Coming right at me. Coming right at me. Coming. I'm pulling now. Is it heavy? It's not too heavy. Not too heavy. There we go. There is a there is a tug. Okay. A lot of light, but there he is. There he is. Is it big? He was just right underneath you. There he is. Oh yeah, that's a decent one. That's a good one, honey. Come on, buddy. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Come That's on, what we're here for. That's about a 30. Yeah. Oh, oh. lots of weeds. Hang on, hang on before you pull that up. Oh, I guess. Pull them up. Yeah, that's a pile of weeds. <laughs> yeah, that's what pike do. They dive down like that. We'll have to get a new hole over here. Well, there you go, honey. Yeah. That's a good one. Let's see them. Ah, yeah. Line out of there. Nice. Beautiful little guy. We want like three times your size. Yeah, that's a good one to start though. Yep. Oh. Here we go. It's back in the gross muddy hole. There we go. What do you got to say? We want a bigger one, but that was nice. Heck yeah. Well, we were just doing a little minnow check-in and we noticed there's no minnow on this. So, uh, I don't know if it just wiggled off or something came along and got it. I don't know. So we're gonna put a new minnow on. Well, it might've picked it up and it might've just grabbed it and dropped it. So nothing yet. I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Let a little extra out as you pull in case that fish wants to go. And here we go. Got him. Got him. Ah, another little guy. Alrighty. Just, uh, we call these snakes. Just because they're so snaky like. Get the draw spreaders in them. Tell you what, if you guys are going to go pike fishing, draw spreaders are a must have. Um, if you don't have draw spreaders, I would highly recommend getting a pair. Because just like that, that minnow's out. We're like this. That fish is absolutely fine. And he is going back. So, three for three. That is not bad. Sometimes, you know, you just can't connect on the fish and it's tough, but they're eating them pretty good today. We just need some size. We need some big ends. go Is it there yep. oh dang on it <laughs> My turn. yeah now you get the, now you get the little baby you can get that see you later bye Flag, flag, flag. First one in 30 minutes. It is spinning. I think I'm gonna take it as it's going here. Ready? I'm gonna give it a little bit extra. Extra, 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 extra. Please know something's going on. Ah, oh, that's another little one. Bass. Hey, cool. Yeah, good little, good little largemouth though. Unexpected species. Yeah, not going for a bass, but that's a decent one. I'm gonna hook really quick here. Nice little bass, good fish. See you later, dude. There 
it is. Going. Whoa! How'd that feel? Great. Alright. Ooh, that one looks heavy. Come on. How's it feel? Oh, he feels big. Okay. Oh yeah, he feels oh, nice. Oh yeah, here he is, here he is, here he is. Oh, it's a big bass. Holy crap! <gasps> Grab him by the lip. Holy honey! He's a big guy! He's so big, I can't even hold on to him right you now. You got him. Look at that, that's like a five pounder almost. He's huge! Oh my goodness. He's huge, we need pictures with this guy. That's a Mondo bass. <laughs> right? Yeah. Alright, let's get a couple pictures. Oh, look at this fish. Alright, that's a 19 incher, probably four pounds. This is probably my biggest bass all year. Yeah, oh for sure. Yep. That's a tank. He is. Alright buddy, ready to go back. Get a little taste of the water. <laughs> that was a nice fish. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Solid. We just messed. Oh, we got another one. Alright, <laughs> let's go. Here. My turn. Your turn. I'll grab the cams. Alright, well, you just got the giant bass. This one just popped up. Let's see what we're working with here. Alright. Here we go, buddy. Ooh. Yeah, this has got some shoulders. A couple pounds at least. Here we go. There's our marker. Here we go. Ooh, yep, is, another, is it another bass? It is. What is up with these bass? Hey, you know what? I'll take bass, but <laughs> it's not quite what we're after today. And uh, we are on a, a completely different lake than our bass lake. So this is kind of odd out here that we're catching bass, but it must just be an early early time of year thing. So that's three bass today and three pike or four pike. Get them unhooked, send them on back. Not bad for a day of tip of fishing. Yeah, right? See you later, buddy. That was cool. That was awesome. Well, let's set them back up and give her another 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we are packing her up right now. We uh, got into some nice fish today. Caught some nice bass, caught some nice pike, and uh, we tried a little bit of everything as far as depths go. We had some high and Caught a couple pike on the higher ones and then caught a couple pike on the ones that were, you know, foot off bottom or so. But uh, really didn't find a pattern of what they were, you know, bang, 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 but kind of a slower day. But, you know, sometimes that's fishing. So hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Um, if you're not subscribed, I think like 75% of people that watch this aren't subscribed. So it'd be really sweet if you hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out, keeps us out on the ice. YouTube does pay us a tiny, tiny little bit. So the more the merrier. And like always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next time.